Hey everybody, this is Jake with Bones and Broadheads. We just got back from Albia from the farm and we found quite a few sheds. So stay tuned and check out the action from shed hunting this weekend in Albia. Welcome to Bones and Broadheads. It's January 19th and we're just kicking off shed hunt season. And an hour into it, stumbled upon this really nice five point side with a drop tine coming in right there toward the base. Um, didn't have to get a chance to see this buck on camera this year. But you can tell he carries a lot of mass all the way up to the end. So we'll be excited to see if we can get him on camera next year. And stay tuned for more shed hunting updates from Bones and Broadheads. All right. So we're back out here for this afternoon. We found uh, one good shed this morning. It's a really nice one I think we've got some history with, but um, just combing the alfalfa fields a little bit, we found a nice match set laying right together. So we're gonna go hit some of the better spots on this farm, some funnels, um, some ridges and things like that, and, and another good food plot too. So hopefully we can pick up a couple nice sheds from some of our hit list bucks that we didn't get this fall. Well, we just covered what looked to be an awesome bedding area. Um, some south and east facing ridges, a lot of small cedars and stuff. This is a fish shed we found in probably 100 yard stretch maybe, so they were piled up in there, but this was the only fresh one. Good four point side. Uh, Jake doesn't think he knows this deer, but he's gonna go look at pictures. If not, it looks to be a good up and comer, so definitely a deer that they'll wanna be after in the next couple years. Well, everybody, we tried to go out here day two on Sunday, the 20th, and find a few sheds. We didn't pick up any, but we had a really good day yesterday. Um, we found 11 sheds. Uh, one thing too, a few tips if you're out shed hunting in the next month, which is gonna be prime time, they're gonna be keep dropping over the next month. Um, when you find your first antler or you've got an antler at home, take it with you. Um, one thing that's key, I think, is, is being able to adjust your eyes to the way um, a shed looks on the ground in different conditions. Obviously it's snowing right now, so it's kind of tough, but you get in the timber, it's gonna look different. On the field, it's gonna look different. A shed will land on the ground. So take a shed with you, throw it on the ground a few times out in front of you, get your eyes adjusted to that. Another thing, bring your binoculars. You can glass a long ways in the timber right now and glass different hills you know, across the ravine or something like that and cover a lot of ground. So. Overall, we had a, a great start to our shed season so far in 2013. We're gonna be back down here in a month. We saw a lot of bucks yesterday while walking that still had antlers. So there's still quite a few to, be, to drop on the ground. So stick with us. Remember, shoot straight and shoot often. And we're pretty excited about 2013. Thanks for watching.